What is the difference between the Epson EcoTank 8500 and Epson EcoTank 7750? Stay tuned because today we're going to find out. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. And today we're going to be talking about the differences between the Epson EcoTank 8500 model and the Epson EcoTank 7750. There was a comment on my channel asking this question specifically, and it's a very great question because it really is hard to know the differences between a lot of these Epson EcoTank printers and any printer for that matter. So it's a very good question. And if you have a question in regards to a specific printer model or between one specific printer model over another comment that below and I may just respond in video format now if this video ends up being helpful I ask that you like the video if you have any questions at all comment below and if you want more content like this please make sure to subscribe that'll be greatly appreciated so the Epson EcoTank 8500 and 7750 are pretty high up there in price. These printers really are able to handle wider capacities. They have a much more advanced color ink system than the regular Epson EcoTank models. And the machines are a little bit larger. They are of course bottle ink based, which makes them EcoTanks. And your print quality is gonna be substantially greater on these printers rather than the regular lineup of the Epson EcoTanks. However, there are some key differences between these two printers that I have found out using factual data directly from Epson. I will be leaving links to each one of these printers if you're trying to make a buying decision that will take you to an Amazon page where you can buy these printers and receive them quickly. You using those links is greatly appreciated because I do benefit and it is a great support to the channel. But before I go any further, I did want to mention today's sponsor, which is my very own Best Printers Print Head Cleaning Kit. Essentially, if you're printing blank pages, uh, not able to print a certain color, you have choppy prints or lines in your prints, or you just have an overall in general print quality issue, you are going to want to consider purchasing the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. There's a wide variety of instructional videos on my channel covering essentially every printer model that there is. All you have to do is go to my channel page, search up your specific printer, and you most likely will find either your printer or something very similar, an instructional video showing you how to use this Best Printers cleaning kit on that specific printer model. There's also going to be a link in the description below for this product. You can pause this video, go down there and get yours today, and then continue watching the rest of this video. All right, so starting out with the Epson EcoTank 8500, I actually have a review video on this printer. So if you wanted more in-depth information on the Epson EcoTank 8500, if you did want a video of the unboxing, and then that video also leads to some other videos as well, there is gonna be a link somewhere here on the screen. But looking at this printer, your price options look like they're at around $650. And unfortunately, the price differences on this video are not going to be exact because prices are going to fluctuate depending on where you buy and depending on when you buy where and when where it could be at a brick and mortar store or it could be through one of the links in the description below that would keep you a little bit more in the ballpark of what we're talking about in this video and when is in a couple of months you're going to have to check the links always because the prices could have fluctuated so we're talking about 650 dollars currently the main things that you're getting with this printer is you are getting you're getting very advanced and maximum print resolution of of 5760 by 1440 dpi the Epson EcoTank 7750 is significantly higher in price. Now there is a lower model. The base model of the 7750 is actually the 7700 and that one's running for about $1,000. We are gonna keep direct focus on the question that was asked in the comment so that we're able to get a pretty good idea and I'm also able to answer uh, that specific question. But know that there are cheaper options available. But for today, we're gonna be talking specifically about the 7750, which is a wide format, which is 11 by 17. That's a much larger capacity than your regular standard printer. So we're not gonna really compare price too much. What we're mainly going to compare is functionality and performance. All right, so between the 7750 and the 8500, your max resolution is the same. You see here that you're, you're getting the same as 
you're getting that 5760, same as your, what you're getting with the 8500. Your printing speed is going to vary though. The 7750 is slower. You got 13 pages per minute with black, 10 pages per minute with color. When you come over to the 8500, you're getting 16 pages per minute black and 12 pages per minute with color. You also have a two-sided printing speed uh, that I'm not going to get into the nitty-gritty of that. With both of these, you're going to have mobile printing and scanning. Another big difference on between these printers is that the 8500 model is going to have more paper trays. So that gives you more options for different types of media. So your 8500 model is going to have a front tray, which is able to handle uh, 20 sheets. Your front tray, the second one, so you have two front trays, is able to handle 100 sheets. So there's a lot of capacity there, and you can see that you've got your bottom paper trays. You can kind of make them out here, and the rear ones, we're not really able to see. Let's see. So you've got the rear paper tray back there as well. So here you can take a look under, and you can see that there is the paper tray, but there is the back paper tray as well front paper tray yeah Woo! so what you see there is you've got a rear paper tray only whereas with the 8500 you have two front paper trays and one rear paper tray now when you come to the type of media that these printers can handle so the 8500 model does is able to handle cardstock and the 7750 may be able to handle cardstock however yeah here you go matte paper heavyweight so that may be able to make up for it and you could potentially also print our cardstock but you're going to want to look at those the differences between these two this is the 7750 on screen and then you got the 8500 these are the two different types of uh uh, media that you're able to handle with each printer. They're roughly the same So I'm not gonna say that there's really any differences there another very big difference between the 8500 model versus the 7750 is that the 8500 has a touchscreen 7750 does not so you're gonna have to use the buttons that are on the panel They both do have double-sided printing though. So they have an automatic duplexer. They both have a glass scanner So I'm trying to point out some of the similarities along with the differences But there are quite a few differences between these printers. They both seem to have a, a SD slot Right there. You can see the SD slot on each one of them and a USB slot as well So there's really not gonna be any differences there now one of the other biggest differences is the ink system so here on the epson ecotank 8500 you have two black compartments then you have cyan yellow magenta and gray that's very important when you're printing photos when you have this combination of colors that gray really does make a difference in the photo quality now when you come over to epson ecotank 7750 you have black cyan yellow magenta and black again so they both have photo black but the gray is really what amplifies and makes the bigger difference so you're missing one of those colors on the 7750 all right so quickly let's go through the differences between the epson ecotank 8500 and 7750 the main differences with the epson ecotank 8500 was that it was faster it's got 16 pages per minute black and 12 pages per minute color. Printing resolution was the same. Uh, the 8500 has three paper trays, whereas the 7750 has one. The 8500 has six color ink tanks or ink colors on the printer, whereas the 7750 has only five. The 8500 has a touch screen, whereas the 7750 does not have a touch screen. Those are the biggest differences. There may be some other differences, but these are the biggest ones between the 8500 and the 7750. Now, what are the differences with the 7750? So the 7750 is able to handle a, a wider paper format than the 8500. So you're able to handle with the 7750, you are in fact able to handle max paper size of 11.7 inches by 44 inches. So that is the biggest selling point, but also you are able to get 3,400 photos printed from one ink bottle set. So those are the two biggest differences between the 7750 and the 8500.
So hopefully this is a very clear explanation of the differences between these two printers. All right, so hopefully this was an in-depth enough video to where you were able to see the differences between the Epson EcoTank 8500 and the Epson EcoTank 7750. Remember all the links that are in the description below. Link for the best printers cleaning kit and then the link for each one of these printers if you were looking to buy one of these printers. Now remember, if you're using these printers, there's a cheaper way to buy ink. You can buy re remanufactured ink. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for remanufactured ink on either one of these printers. So there are a ton of resources down in the description below. If this video was helpful, please make sure to like the video. If you have any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's really all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.